Earth. It's hard to remember when the forests were green and the oceans blue. After years of human abuse, she finally struck back. In a series of catastrophic natural disasters, the Earth began what appeared to be a systematic campaign against mankind. The skies clogged with ash, crops withered and died, the power grids failed, the food chain collapsed. Hungry and cold, the populace turned on itself. Governments struggled to maintain order. In this chaos, a global scientific effort unmatched in the history of mankind devised an escape plan. The irony being that if these minds had come together years earlier, an escape plan may not have been necessary. As the pilgrimage began, two questions arose. Would they treat their new home any better? And how would their new home treat them? Dust is getting pretty thick up here, Director Weller. Ryger will kill me if I get this shuttle stuck. Do we have clearance to be up here again? If you mention clearance one more time, I'm going to sacrifice you to the volcano. Too bad it hasn't been active in two million years. That's not an option. It's a sandstorm. because most people have been evacuated already. The only people left in MOY are security officers, emergency personnel, and, and us. Okay, I said I was going to be on the last shuttle. If you don't want to stay... And I said I'm not going anywhere without you. But Ellie, your mum is director of scientific research. For months now, she's been freaking out about this storm. And when she freaks out, everyone freaks out. If this is about your whole preferential treatment thing, then you... No, it's not. You have nothing to prove. She said, get on the first shuttle out of here and we're getting on the last. You do know they've evacuated like a thousand people from colonies between here and the Tharsis region. Okay, I'm not staying to prove a point, Ida. I'm staying because I can help. We have nothing to worry about. The small colonies don't have domes. If I freak out and run to the first shuttle, people are going to think I have inside info. You do have inside info. Are they meant to turn red? Very funny. <laughs> oh, Ellie, the shuttle's in the hallway. We won't make it. Come on. The straps need to be super tight, Dr. Foster. Break your brittle Martian bones and all the way to Mars. And it's a surprise that I'm not sick of you yet. 
And on that note, welcome to Mars. You sure you don't want to look? Uh, describe it to me. <laughs> look at the storm. MNY is completely covered. All right, we're gonna have to circle around. This might get a little rough. Director Weller, we've been combing through the chatter from the MNY incident. We found there's someone in the emergency bands. I thought you should hear it. This is Ellie Weller. My mother is Miranda Weller, Director of Scientific Research at MLA. Mars, New York has been hit by a sandstorm, somehow unaffected by the dome shielding. Myself and others have been forced into emergency bunker 027. Please send help. Someone respond, please. We can't stay here long. In three days, we'll make for the tunnel. I told her to get out of there. You can go. A hundred and eighty-five days. That's how long you asked me to wait while you come up with a better solution. One that includes spending valuable resources to pick up Dr. Foster. You're putting a lot of faith in a man who stayed behind on a dying planet while the rest of his species moved on. Look, I know you don't approve of me bringing Foster here from Earth, but they're my resources to spend. It's part of the job. Uh, Director of Scientific Research, Weller. This is stretching it. I've seen this thing up close. I've been here for every evacuation leading up to MNY. This is not an ordinary sandstorm that we're dealing with. We have sandstorms all the time. What makes this one so special? I don't know yet. That's why we need Foster. If we can't figure this out, at least he can kill it. Captain. Director. They're here. You okay, Doc? <sighs> Just take me to your leader. Miranda. <laughs> hey. Good to see you. Um, Um, status update? We've evacuated the smaller colonies. The storm's already reached MNY. Listen, I know that you guys just landed, but we need to get on this right away. Hey, wait a second. You mean you, you, you... married? Months. I spend months with you in, 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 in a tin can, and you don't once think to tell me that you're married to my ex-wife? It was my idea to keep you in the dark. I didn't want you to not get on the shuttle. I mean, you do have a history of being stubborn about leaving planets. You mean abandoning planets. And yeah, I might be a little stubborn, but I would never miss the opportunity to see my, to save our daughter. Where is she, by the way? I'd like to- With all due respect, Dr. Foster, there's a lot more than that at risk here. If we can't figure this out, we could be talking about the end of mankind on Mars. Who's this, space police? Commander Alison Ryger. Wait, wait, just a second. Really? Really, you bring guns to Mars? There's always a need for security. We're not reinventing the wheel. May I have a word with you? If I remember correctly, my exact words were inhospitable to life. Oh, less so. Every day, thanks to you. You stole my tech and are using it for purposes it was never even intended for. As far as I'm concerned, that's the end of the conversation. Oh, surprise. What's your take? He's bitter. He's stubborn. A complete asshole. But he did bring some pretty fancy high-tech gear with him. I don't think he'd come this far if he couldn't help. Look, I don't give a crap what happens here in the long term. The way I see it is just a distraction until I finish cleaning up Earth and everyone else can come home. Listen, Foster. I'm only here for one reason, and that's our daughter. Now, where is Ellie? You can have it back when we come up with a plan. A plan? 
we wait for rescue. Klaus, there isn't going to be a rescue. We said three days and would head for the tunnel. She said three days, not me. This isn't just a field generator on the Fritz, Klaus. The storm came right through the dome like the field didn't even exist. We've got to get out of here now. Yeah, the satellite's probably blocking the signal. And you're burning through all that juice. It dies, then what? The sandstorm's blocking through the satellite signal as it heads toward MLA. We may not hear from them until this thing passes. That is right, we're probably on our own. So we can take the maintenance passages to the MLA tunnel, or... We can take the two EVA suits to the command tower. And if we get to the roof, we may be able to get a signal to MLA. Yeah, but there's only two suits. You said your plan was to wait for rescue. We need some help. No, 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 no. No one's going anywhere until we know what's wrong with that dome. Listen, we go out there and there's any danger, we're coming back here and we're waiting for rescue. All right, the worst of the storm is over MNY right now. Latest satellite telemetry shows the eye of the storm hitting the MLA dome in a couple of hours. After that, the worst is past. But they're not gonna be out of the woods yet. The storm is gonna hit them in waves on the tail end of the rotation as it heads towards us. This is not like the normal storms that form in Hellas Basin, okay? This was formed in Olympus Mons. I was there, okay? I watched it boil over and it killed five of my team. But it's not an eruption? The terraforming has raised the temperature on Mars enough to reactivate the volcano. A volcanic sandstorm. Well, planets don't like it when you raise their temperature. No, this storm is a symptom. Looks to me like Yellowstone all over again. No, 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 no. That was a natural disaster. Can you honestly say it had nothing to do with man-made climate change? We're not here to debate what happened to Earth. We already had that debate, Dr. Foster. And as I recall, you lost. We've wasted a considerable amount of resources to get you here. Prove Dr. Weller right and tell me how we're going to kill this storm. I told you this was going to happen. That coming here was a mistake. Waste of resources. Being here is a waste of resources. When you left Earth, you took the brightest minds on our planet. Except for one. Mine. This storm is just a side project to distract me from the real work back on Earth. Lucky for all you Martians. You think I can zap it? How do we kill it, Dr. Foster? EMF emitters. We set up a series of them. Back on Earth, we're building a network of these things. They're pretty good at knocking volcanic ash out of the air. You see, the EMF emitters define an area of effect by broadcasting a low-frequency electromagnetic field. Then a trigger device uses that field as a broadcast medium. And then it sends out a pulse of charged particles that'll counter the energy of the storm and bye-bye. That's why we need to go to MNY first. We can use the data readings from the dome there to calibrate the charge of the trigger. That just leaves where to place the EMF emitters. Now, we should definitely have one here at MLA and another one at MNY, and they should be high up, you know, uh, roof of the tallest building, yeah? And then, what, uh, what's this here? Uh, that's a relay station. There's a radio tower here. Perfect. That's the spot for the third emitter. Good. We can try and clean up the comm signal over there, too. Well, lastly is the trigger device. We're going to have to drop it directly in the path of the eye of the storm. And then once it crosses this line, pull the trigger too early, we miss the eye and risk it forming up again. Pull it too late, and we're all dead. It's too dangerous to fly the shuttle through the storm. So Andrew will take Foster and the security team through the MNY tunnel. OK, Neil, you'll go to the relay station and install the second emitter. And then from there, you should be able to head off the storm with the trigger. Riger and I will install the third emitter on the roof. And then we just wait for the center of the storm to cross the area of effect. That keeps one egghead on each emitter. I'll have shuttles on standby for liftoff as soon as the sky clears. For all I sakes, I hope this works. Let's get to it.
Well, that'll take care of the storm. Now, what are we gonna do about Ellie? The best way to help her is to stop the storm. As soon as it's clear, we can fly the shuttles back into MNY. I'll pick her up myself. Good. Because I'm not heading back to Earth until I know she's safe. Does it have a name yet? The storm. If no, I'm suggesting Ares. You know, the whole, it came down from Mount Olympus to destroy you. God of War thing. I thought you liked Greek mythology. Are you suggesting that I tell people they're at war with their planet? Yeah, I'm not sure that's the message I want to send. That's exactly the message you should be sending. You know, looking at that, there's only one name that makes sense to me. Zeus. Why were we prepared for this? Bring our own storm zappers along. Because I hadn't invented them until after, you know, you all left home. It would have taken us longer to try and build our own than it did for me to retrieve Dr. Foster. Settle down, all right, Ryger? I told you that we couldn't do this without him. I don't get this. You said people have been coming through the tunnel for three days now, right? So why the sudden panic? Uh, how are we supposed to get through this? Foster, I know, but Ellie said she would be in the tunnel, so keep a lookout for her, okay? Of course. You remember how to work the EMF emitters? Don't worry about me. We went over it plenty of times on the shuttle. You just focus on getting that data and finding Ellie. Oh, it's already in the tunnel. All the way from MNY? No way it's that strong. Oh, my God. Finally. MLA tunnel number 66. It's gonna be a long walk. All right, ladies. Here we go. House? What are you waiting on? Let's go. Climb into a metal coffin with my ex-wife's new husband and drive directly into a monster storm? Yeah, sure, whatever helps. What's going on here? We're talking about... How many people have to die before you stop underestimating this storm? It's time to issue a state of emergency. Pull everyone into the shelters and wait this thing out. Even the regular dust storms on Mars are known to last for weeks on end. How long can your shelters hold up? A couple days, max. Great, good luck with that. It's not enough. Then we... Shut down the dome. Reroute power to the shelters. The damn dome is gonna shut down itself anyway when the storm hits. Not an option, Ryger. We need to kill it first. And how do we know you can? Because he said so? His is the word you wanna stake the lives of every person in MLA on? <laughs> Not happening. Send our two best assets out there to die if you want. But when they do, when this mission fails, we do things my way. Until then, I'm moving people into the shelters. You've got three days to do whatever it is you're gonna do. Then I'm done listening to you. She's fun.
We can't stay here. It could be weeks before they get to us. So what the? The tunnels are bust and the dome's depressurized. What are we gonna do? We're all packed up and ready to go. Battery's charged and the solar cell should keep us pretty steady until we hit the relay later today. We'll be monitoring the storm for any changes in speed or direction. Now we're gonna do our best to let you know, but short range comps is gonna lose you for a couple of hours. Just be careful and be fast. Ellie had a radio a couple of days ago. Hopefully after the next wave passes, she'll be able to get another signal out. And then we can go pick her up, right? Foster, nothing's more important to me than saving Ellie. But the way we're gonna do that is by stopping the storm. The rover's only kitted out for the two of us, and even that's pushing it just to make the round trip. We can't take on any passengers, even if we find Ellie. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, Neil, I don't care. She's the only reason I'm here. She can have my seat if it means she's safe. I've known her since she was five, Foster. I love Ellie, too. If there's a way, we'll find it. But until Zeus is dead, you're the most important person on Mars. After you, Doc. We're getting in that thing? Yeah. It's even smaller than the shuttle. Come on. These are the Terra Farms. If it weren't for your hydrocarbon pumps, none of this would even be possible. Yes, I'm in a hell of my own making. Thank you, Neil. I thought you knew about Miranda. Sure. That's why you uh, conveniently forgot to mention her name for how many months was it? I need to know I can trust you, Neil. You know what, Pete? Uh, Dr. Foster? If you care so much, I hate to break it to you, pal. You should have known. And as for trust, can you trust me? I'm not the one who walked away from all this. From Miranda, from Ellie, from humanity. You don't get to do that and then get upset when people move on. It's not me you should be worried about. It's all the people in MLA, all the people on Mars. That's what you should be concerned with right now. That's what's at stake here. The survival of our species. That's the mission. Dr. Foster, <laughs> can you trust me? The question is, can we trust you? All I've ever done is try to save Earth. We left Earth when it almost tore itself apart when Yellowstone erupted. Yeah, and you left for a planet with a volcano the size of Arizona. A dormant volcano. That you woke up. With your technology. That you stole. I invented that technology to help Earth. And the rest of Earth decided Mankind's future was right here on Mars. Ellie was five. What decision did she make? Hey, what happened then is between you and Miranda. Ellie's here now. That's what matters. I think she's more concerned with the decision you made. What's that supposed to mean? I've known her a long time, Foster. She means the world to me. But her whole life, she's thought the world meant more to you. I stayed behind on Earth to clean it up so that she could come home. And when we find her, that's exactly what I'm gonna ask her to do. Andrew? Director Weller? About the tunnels, I just wanted to... There's no need to apologize. Not we all have the colony's best interest at heart. You were just following orders. I was doing what was right. If I hadn't closed those doors when I did, it would have been a lot worse. We're friends. I care about you. And I hope that Ellie's okay. I believe Ellie's okay. But Riger was right. Even if Ellie was in there, I'd have made the same call. I won't risk the colony for anyone. Understood.
Oh, baby. So dry, so dry. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, what now? staying in here, are we? We have a mission to complete. Well, can't we pull in? You know, maybe back up to the airlock? <laughs> Afraid not, Doc. I, you did know you'd be getting out of this thing. I was hoping to avoid it for as long as possible. Well, no time like the present. First time. Is that a cigarette? Do you have my parts? What parts? I want to help you, but suit is broken. I have no part to fix. I cannot go far from here. Not for long. You know the path, and you know the gear. I'd much rather have you out there than Dr. Foster. No offense, Doc. I'm taken. So what do you say, borrow Dr. Foster's suit and head up there with me? Hmm. Help both Dr. Pete Johnson Foster. and the famous Neil Wallow in project of global importance. Yeah, that's Basically. right. Okay. First thing tomorrow morning is great. I, I, I'm sorry if I wasn't clear. We have to do this now, tonight. There's no time to waste. The path is very dangerous at night. I know. I know it's asking a lot, Uliana. Please. I guess I could use getting out more. Doc, suit out. Where have you been? I was checking on the evacuations. Don't worry about the evacuations. They're in process and under control. It's Neil and Foster you should be worried about. They've got a wayward storm heading right for them. I'll take over comms. You may not hear anything from them. Don't worry. They will reestablish communication. I hope that they do. Everything OK down there, Doc? Everything's great. Liliana, I'm enjoying your Martian blend. Thank you. Of course, you couldn't have done it without my work. <laughs> Just don't drink all of it. We're going up there. All the way to top. Guys, I think Miranda's trying to get in touch with us. We should have the signal clean in a few minutes here. Can you make out what she's saying? Miranda? Yes. Nothing yet. How about now? 
Miranda, can you hear me? Miranda, do you read me? Uh, Neil, you better get back down here. Almost done, Doc. Neil, look west! Foster, put Uli on his suit on. What? I thought it was broken. Just do it, Foster. You're going to have to get into the rover and get it to the base of the cliff. The suit will not keep him safe for long. He just needs to get to the rover. Foster, you can do this. It's just a short walk. Oxygen at 100%. What does that mean? What did she say? She's saying oxygen full. Oh, good. Thank you. She's a liar. What? So this liar. Big trouble. Well, how much do I have? Foster, put the damn suit on and get to the rover now. Foster, move! Working on it. Antenna's gone, Neil. You just focus on getting the rover into place. Problem at a time. Foster, come in. Please come in. Come in. Ellie? Hello? Mom, hello? SATCOM says we've lost visual on the relay station. Have you heard from Neil or Foster? No, not yet, but long range comms are back up, which means they've finished and moved on. You expect me to believe that? A major arm of that storm just swept through their area of operation. They still have two days left on their mission clock, and they completed their first objective. By all means, we are on schedule. It's working, trust me. The last time you asked me to trust you, people died. And how many were saved because of the evacuations? We wouldn't even know this thing was coming had we not been up there. You know that. Just get in contact with them, Wella, and get me a report. Ellie? Come in. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Mom? Oh, thank God, honey. Listen, are you safe? Yes. We're in the bunker. Mom, what's going on? Wait, wait, who's in the bunker? Are you with someone? Yeah, I'm with Ida. Hi, Director Wella. I thought you were going to take the MLA tunnel here. Yeah, we tried, but the storm got in it somehow and it depressurized. We know. 
The tunnel's a no-go. The maintenance passage... They're all shot to hell, and we can't figure out what went wrong on your end. Mom, is anyone coming for us? Your dad and Neil are on their way. Did you say Neil and my dad? Is that why I haven't heard from Neil? Did you send him to pick that asshole up? Ellie, we don't have time for this. We need your help. They can stop the storm, but they're off course and running out of time. In your bunker, are there any EVA suits? Yeah, two. Okay, I need you to put them on. Honey, I know that you've been through a lot, but I'm, I'm gonna have to ask you to go through a little bit more. The storm is gonna keep hitting you in waves. You've got, got a window for now, but it won't last. I need you to go back into the tunnels and make your way to MNY Command before Neil and Foster get there. They're asking me to risk a lot in his say-so. And I don't remember that counting for much when we left Earth. He's all we've got right now. I trust him. And I hope you're right. They're heading to you, but- I don't know when they're gonna land. I need you to get to the command center and access the dome controls. You should be able to download a diagnostic report. Foster's gonna need that data. You've got to be there waiting with it when they land. Ida? Yes, ma'am? Call me Miranda. Yes, ma'am. Keep my daughter safe. You got it. Try to keep in touch. Get to MNY Command. They'll be there. That's just gonna be a little late. Make sure those are tied down, Doc. All right. Done. Now get up here and strap in. I hate when you say that. We're not gonna make that gap, Neil. I know. This rover will not survive that storm. I know. What are you doing? Sit it yourself, Doc. We won't survive that storm. That's a cliff, Neil. So we need to get out of its way. But that's a cliff, Neil. Old heading's no good. The trench will shield us from that storm. And the sun. One problem at a time. Hold on. What? Just gotta stick the landing. This was your plan? One size fits all. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I haven't been in one of these since I was in school. Mm. Here, help me out here. So when we go to the bunker, we'll pick up a few spare O2 canisters. And there's a strap back there. Back, back there. <laughs> I see it. Do you? Yeah. OK, good. Oh. Your mom, she didn't say anything about a rescue. Well, if my mom called my dad and my dad actually came, then this storm's gotta be a lot bigger than anyone thought. So they must think everyone's dead, right? <sighs> Things have gotta be pretty hopeless if my dad's involved. But for 20 years, my dad's been pulling atomic ash out of the Earth's atmosphere. That's all he's ever cared about. Anything that could bring him here has got to be pretty important. Listen, Ida, I know I said this, but you don't have to come. I understand if you want to wait it out here. I'm not going to leave you. I told your mom I would stay keep you safe, and I meant it, okay? I just hope your dad's are there when we show up. Neil was on the first trip here from Earth. 
in the first trip back. He's been on the surface of Mars more than any other person. If anyone can bring them here, it's Neil Weller. Eve, a vital check on Dr. Foster, please. Heart rate and respiration are normal. And how long till we lose life support? At current energy levels, two and a half hours. How much O2 is left in the suit canisters? 12 hours. Each? Eva, how much O2 for two people? 12 hours total, six hours each. I've been in tighter jams than this, Eva. Command not recognized. <laughs> All right, Doc, time to wake up. Wake up, Doc. Okay, what's the plan? I don't think we're gonna make it. What are you talking about? We drove the rover too hard last night. We've got about two hours of juice left and then we're stuck here waiting for the storm to clear before we can get moving again. So we wait for this wave to pass and, and then what? We're stuck in a trench. I don't know, there, there's an outlet further up the trench where the basin slopes back up to MNY. Great. Two hours, including life support. I'm gonna have to get back into the suits. And mine's malfunctioning. Yours is malfunctioning. Come on, Neil. As much as I hate to say it, you were probably the smartest person on this planet before I got here. So what do you think? Thank you. But I don't think we're going to be able to science our way out of this one. Look, that's just the kind of talk that got us into this mess. And by mess, I mean a million miles from Earth, stuck in a trench, and... There's a giant raging electrical sandstorm bearing down on us, trying to kill all of our loved ones. <laughs> well, I didn't give up then, and I'm not giving up now. Foster? What are you thinking? My mom said to take the elevator down to the access tunnel. Okay. Let's go. So we have to go down to the substation to get to the elevator. What, down there? Are you scared? No. <laughs> okay, let's go.
We'll take this halfway there. So then we have to walk the rest. Okay. I guess this is a junction to the MNY tunnel? Yeah, surely. What if this is the wrong way? Your mom knows this place inside out. But what if I chose the wrong one? You didn't. You'll be fine, okay? We'll be fine. Mom, I think we're nearly there. Okay, Ellie, ahead is the main junction to the command center. I got this. Listen, we're heading to MNY Command if you want to come with. Should be safe to take your suits off there. Yeah. Yeah. It's her ankle. She... I think it's broken. She broke it when we were running for shelter. We gotta get out of these tunnels before they depressurize too. Yeah. You think you can make it? Yeah, let's go. Okay, Ellie, that tunnel should be clear all the way to MNY Command. Got it. Sounds simple enough. We'll be there in no time. Oh, God, be careful. Hi. Hi. This is Carl and Dana. Guys, Ellie Walla. Ellie Puller. What the hell are you doing down here? Foster, I have to ask again. You sure this will work? I hate to cannibalize the trigger if we don't have to. No, oh, it'll still work. But once we use it as a lightning rod, my guess is it'll be fried. That means that one of us is gonna have to activate the trigger manually. And we're okay with that. We're gonna have to be. One problem at a time, right? Okay, that should do it. You're sure about this? Once we're moving, that's it. We're committed. Yes, I'm sure. How far until the incline? No, it's not far, but going uphill is going to kill us on power. Well, all we got to do is get close enough to Zeus to steal a couple of his lightning bolts. Just one ought to give us enough charge to make it all the way to MNY. Well, I hope you're right. It makes two of us. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna say it one more time. We should put you in my suit. Ah, uh, this doesn't work. We're both dead anyway. Okay. Shutting down life support. Oxygen at 100%. by carrying her the whole way. So, do you want like ditch them? No, of course not. We're almost up to the low edge of the storm here. But we're losing and power fast. How are you doing? Oxygen at 100%. Oxygen at 100%. As I stated. Okay. That's it. Now, we wait. Mom, I think we're nearly there. I'm just at a junction that I don't recognize. Mom? Pressure lock to the MLA auxiliary tunnels just up there. You sure? Ellie? Yeah. Positive. <laughs> We're security officers. I used to work this sector. 
But the storm's in the tunnel. But the storm's not gonna get us in here, is it? Ellie! Oh, God. We gotta go now! Come on! Foster, I thought you weren't gonna quit. Eva, power the defibrillator glove. Rerouting power. Hang on, Doc, I'm coming. Eva, charge? Charged. Eva, charge again. Charged. Oh! Who's quitting? <laughs> Eva, power down the glove. Rerouting power. Who's quitting? Isn't this supposed to be the safest place in the Why? How does this even happen? My guess is it probably happened when the dome depressurized. Nobody saw any of this coming. Ellie, how are we ever meant to stop something like this? We start by getting this data to my dad. 
And after that, anything we can. Anything on the camera feed? Nothing yet. They'll be here. Maybe you should get some sleep. What about you? I gotta be at this for a while. But I wanna help. You are helping, Ida. Mom, it took most of the night, but I have all the data on a thumb drive. Shouldn't they be here by now? Honey, they'll be there. Just hang tight, okay? Hold on, hold on a second. Anything to report? Not yet. Miranda, it's now or never. Zeus will be here today. Are they gonna make it or not? They'll make it. Miranda, who are you talking to? Elle, it's Ellie. I will remove you from the command room. Elle, she already has the readings from the dome, okay? That's time bought. Neil and Foster It's not can enough. She can install the EMF emitter, and that will buy them enough time to catch up with Zeus. Are you suggesting we entrust this mission to your daughter? Yes, she can do it. I wouldn't want anyone else out there. Easy for you to say. God damn it, Ryger. Don't you see that this is the only way? You can't just go and hide underground. If we don't kill Zeus, Zeus will kill us. Lambert, I need you to remove Director Weller from the command room. Are you kidding me? Come on, don't do this. Now. I'm sorry, Miranda. We tried it your way. Time to say goodbye. Hello, hello, hello. Come in, Miranda, anyone. I'll even take Riger, someone. Foster? Miranda, thank God. Foster, where are you? What happened? Well, we spent yesterday in the Vallis Marineris Trench. Not my favorite geological feature on Mars. Foster, shut up! The point is, we're here. Head for the Southeast Airlock. It'll lead you right into the bottom of the command center. Guys, Ellie's there. She's alive. And she's already got the readings from the dome. That's my girl. You'll need to leave the EMF emitter with her and head straight for Zeus. It's already entered Foster's Triangle. Foster's Triangle. Just get there and hurry up. Roger that. Al, even you have to see that there's hope here. Listen, just work with me. We get everyone to safety now so that we're ready. We don't need to close the tunnels until absolutely necessary. Makes sense, Captain. Get on it. I'm staying right here. Ellie, they're on their way in. I need you to allow remote access to the Southwest airlock. Mom? Wait. I haven't seen him in a long time. I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I don't even know who he is anymore. Ellie, he's the same stubborn asshole he was 20 years ago, but he can stop this thing. He knows exactly what he's doing, but he needs our help. Okay. Mom said that you needed that. I do. Thank you. So is this going to work? It has to. I don't remember leaving Earth without you, but I imagine you said something similar then. I was doing the right thing then, and I'm doing the right thing now. is my girlfriend. 
And these are my dad's. Hi, Ida. Nice to finally meet you, Ida. Uh, Dr. Oh. Pete Foster. Hi. Uh, okay, so as amazingly awkward as this is, um, Mom said that you needed for us to do something. Oh, yes. yes. Ellie, we need you to get this EMF emitter to the roof and activate it. Once it's on, I need you to get back inside both of you and get to safety. What good is that gonna do? Well, I'm glad you asked. We have a triggering device that will use the field as a broadcast medium. Uh, send out a, a, a wave of charged particles that But you have to be inside the eye for that. Is this your plan? Ellie, I promise we'll be back. Can we use one of his plans? It's the only plan, Ellie. It'll work if you help us. Okay. Then I should point out that we are low on oxygen. So if we have to go back outside. Yeah, we have some spares. But l listen, Ellie, we need to get back on the road or we're not going to make it before the storm hits MLA. Right? A lot of people are counting on us, all of us. I'm sorry. I need to cut this reunion short. Let's go. Um, Ellie. Um, before I go. Look, I don't I don't know how to apologize for everything. Letting you leave was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Hey, back on Earth, we've got this spot that's all cleaned up. I mean, you hardly have to use a mask at all. Um, it's, it's great. You just love it there. And, uh, and Ida, good. I don't know if you've ever been to Earth, but she could come too. You know, if, if you wanted to, uh, <clears throat> look, this is not coming out how I planned. Uh, okay, uh, just, just think about it. Everyone's moving to the shelters, but we're cutting it close. This is on you, Wella. How we doing, Doc? Almost done. You to tell me the moment you're done. All set. Hey, wait, Neil, why are we stopping? I need to make a repair. What repair? That lightning strike fried one of our battery cells. If I keep pushing it like this, we're gonna lose the other one. I'm gonna go out there, bypass the bad cell, and then we'll have enough power to make it to the eye just in time. Neil, the storm's right on top of us. Wait a second. That's my suit. It's okay. It's a quick repair. Neil, it's broken. 
I'll be right back. Door. Neil, wait! Doc, when I finish this bypass, you gotta get out of here as fast as you can. It's gonna be close, but you should have it set before the storm overtakes us. This is me figuring it out, Miranda. There isn't enough O2 for the both of us, and the rover's running low on juice. Get in the rover, Neil! There's so much more going on here. Mars needs you. Mars needs Foster. This is the only way. Foster, get out there and help him! Come on in. The airlock controls aren't responding. I bypassed airlock control. You need a command authorization to open it now. God damn it, Neil! Foster, get out there and get him! I'm working on it. Damn it! Antenna's fried. Battery cell wouldn't survive another direct hit anyway. Almost done here, Doc. Get ready to move out. Neil, don't give up. I'm not giving up. I'm doing what I have to do. Oxygen at 100%. Miranda? These last 10 years have been the best of my life. Oh, God. Tell Ellie I love her. Dad! Ellie? Ellie, I love you, baby. It's not your fault. <laughs> Okay, you just get that EMF emitter installed. I love you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Bye, Miranda. Take my family, Pete. gonna lose signal. If you can still hear me, just make sure your EMF emitter is hot. And just watch the horizon. Listen. Neil was right. Mars is our future. I was gonna ask Ellie to come back with me. Foster, you stupid asshole. We were never gonna let you leave anyway. 
promise me just one thing, Miranda? Take Ellie home. Just once. I guess I'm not going to be the one to save Earth. But I can still save Mars. Time to get to safety. Don't do this, Riger. The mission's failed. Neil's dead. Foster's likely dead too. Zeus is here whether you like it or not. Now, I'm sorry, Miranda. You've gambled with the lives of this colony for far too long. This is Riger. Start the shutdown. Reroute all powers to the emergency shelters. Now, you can come with us, or we can take you into custody. I've seen this thing up close. It's not a normal sandstorm. If we don't take the opportunity to kill it, then it's everything over, we've Miranda. struggled for will be lost. Everything. That's where we disagree. Lambert, take Director Weller into custody. We're leaving. Al, at least give Foster's plan a chance to work. If you reroute power, the EMF emitters won't work. Andrew, now. Allison. Ellie's out there. Ellie's out there trying to stop this thing. Are you gonna sacrifice her? I hope she finds shelter. Let's go. We gotta hurry, Ellie. We gotta get to the top and set it up. It's gotta be ready before my dad gets to the ice. Still think you're doing what's right? Dr. Foster can really stop this storm? Not once Riger cuts power to the EMF emitter. But what if it had power, if it worked? As much as I hate to admit it, Foster's the most brilliant man I know. If anyone can do it, it's him. So what do we do? Working on it. Get these cops off me now! We need to get to the roof and make sure there's power to the EMF emitter. Got it! Lambert! Wait, Miranda! Open the door, now! Sorry, Captain. You should be able to get through the tunnel through there. Lambert, if she's wrong, you're dead. But if she's right, a lot of people will live. Andrew, meet Zeus. I wish we had suits. Hopefully we won't need them. Come on. All right, Zeus. Let's see what you're made of. There's a lot to do.
It's dead. Not for long. Bring the EMF emitter over here. There's an emergency line that runs through this junction. It won't shut down no matter what Riker does. Miranda! I know! Okay, go! Now what? Now we hope Foster made it. Suit oxygen is critical. Thank you, Eva. You have three minutes to return to your vehicle. This is still recording. To Ellie. If you're safe, I did my job.
is going to keep trying to kill you. So be smart. You already ruined one planet. Don't mess this one up too. Not after all this. So, Dad, are you gonna go back to Earth, or...? We sure could use you here, Foster. I'm not going anywhere. We came around. 